Hi there. Today I'm uh, here with Adam O'Dell from Thor Motor Coach. Yep. He's going to talk to us about the 2014 Chateau. Yes. Well, what's new and exciting about it? And it's going to be here. Yeah, it's always Thank great you for, to have you, Adam. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, today I want to go over the 2014 Chateau. Um, and it's always nice to come out here and hang out with you guys and really see the dealership. And, you know, we really enjoy the partnership between Thor Motor Coach and Alpine House. Oh, no. it's, it's been terrific. I mean, we've been doing business with you guys for many, many, many years. And it's, uh, it's been Absolutely. a great partnership, and we have a lot of happy customers Good. out on the road camping and enjoying the chateaus. That's what we like to see, you know, and I like to come down here and talking to the dealership and to retail customers to really go over the things about our product that you can't see. I mean, I think that there's a lot of shows that happen and people really get bogged down with, you know, the hype of it. You know, they're seeing the, the dishes and the lights and the cameras and they make a buying decision quickly and they don't really know exactly what they're buying, you know. So I really want to go over today with what you can't see because there's a lot of things in our product that you can't see that really make the difference. And with Thor Motor Coach, we put a lot of time and money with things that are different. That'd know? be that'd be great because people are asking that all the time. You know, what 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 does this all consist of? We see right. this. What else can you tell us about it? And that's uh, that's great. Good. It, it, it all begins honestly with the, the top down. I mean, Thor Motor Coach, we really feel like we're a, a very forward thinking company. I mean, we try to always stay ahead of the curve. You know, we always try to do things that we feel the customer, you know, may want six months or even a year from now. You know, we want to stay ahead of that curve because the market, the business, as you and I both know, what, what's it doing? It's changing all the time. Daily, every single day. So we want to stay ahead of that curve. And with the ingenuity in our product and with what we do, we feel like we always stay, you know, one step ahead of the game. And our partnership with Alpine House has helped us become the number one leading manufacturing brand in North America. Yeah, that's awesome. So, Definitely good to be here. Great. Well, let's, uh, let's right. take a look at let's the Let's get going. Let's go. Okay, Adam, we're at the front of the, the our coach right now. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about the engine on the Class C's and what goes into all of that a little bit? Yeah, you know, one thing with Ford Motor Coach, we teamed up with Ford Motor Company. Okay, so this particular coach, the 24C, will be on the E350 power plant from Ford. Okay, the engine will be a Ford V10. Okay, so it's going to be a 6.8 liter. It's going to have a whopping 305 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. So I don't know if you're going to tow anything or, or what, but you can tow a car, boat, bike. Uh, I mean, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Okay, yeah. That's what a lot of customers want to know. How much can they tow? Right. And the real key, guys, is to what we do to separate ourselves from the competition is that before each coach comes to us, it goes to a company called Moride. Okay, Moride is a, a big upfitting company in Elkhart, Indiana. Okay, and what they specialize in is really upfitting it to the highest degree. Okay, they're a QVM, which means they're a quality vehicle modifier, right? So what they're going to do, they're actually going to cut our chassis and stretch it, and then they're going to allow it, they, they actually build our superstructure below the floor, all right? And what they're going to do is a couple things that nobody else does, to the best of my knowledge. Number one, they're actually going to level the chassis off and guarantee it to be less than an eighth of an inch from front to back. So even on the Class C, because with Ford Motor Coach, we build, you know, diesel pushers, we build Class Cs. And just because this coach here doesn't have a price tag of, you know, 400 grand, does that really mean that it's not built the same way our high-end stuff is? Right. In all reality, it is. It's the same engineering, the same design. You know, what we do with this coach here is of the highest quality. So we really want to go a step above all that, and that's why we take it to Moride, because they do such a good job with that, making it true and level and even. Okay. And, what, and what does that uh, translate into when you're on the road or in your campground? How can you talk a little about that? Yeah. What it's going to do, especially when you're traveling, okay, not only do they guarantee it to be a true flat and level ride, but we're also going to use on top of the I-beams, we're going to use a neoprene isolator. And what that's going to do for you is eliminate any harmonic vibrations from the road through the floor. Okay. By doing that, it's going to have a much smoother ride. Okay. It's going to be quieter and it's going to have a lot of um, less vibrations that you may have, you know, in, in the future because it's a home. So yeah. you're going to have this for three, five, maybe even 10 years. You want it to be a quality product from the ground up. Mm. And that's great because, you know, a lot of our customers, sometimes they're getting, they're getting in and they're traveling to Florida or yeah. traveling around the country. So they're in driving for a long time. They're having a great ride. It makes that, all the difference in the world. And, and quite frankly, with a lot of coaches, that's something that you don't talk about because number one, you can't see it. But honestly, with Thor Motor Coach, we want to talk about it. We can't wait because we really are proud of the way we build our coaches. And so that's why we love talking about it. Oh, so, that's terrific. Yeah. So uh, what are you going to show us next, Adam? Okay, let's take a look at the sidewall. So Adam, we're looking here at the sidewall now. And, yeah. And I'm noticing, you know, we, we've noticed uh, over the last couple of years, okay. the trend has been, especially in Class C's now, to even go to colored sidewalls. Where right. Before, even the Class C's were always white. So tell yeah. us a little bit about what you are doing different. Well, a couple things, like, like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's all about the ingenuity in our product. And we always try to be ahead of the game. And so we actually were one of the first Class C's to do a colored glass. But 
The difference is, and I'm gonna start with how our sidewall is actually constructed. Okay, number one, we're using a full aluminum tubular or tubular construction from front to back. Okay, it's gonna be a full vacuum bonded sidewall, okay, with an inch and a half block foam insulation on the inside. All right. Now, one thing we're gonna do differently as well is that you see this belt rail here, Andy? Mm. Okay. We're gonna put a three and a half inch huck bolt or lag bolt per se every three to six inches inside that, okay? Now what that's gonna do is if we're actually taking our wall, we're gonna put it to the side of our floor. We're gonna lock those two in place, creating a very structured, tight, actual fitting of the home, okay? Most brands will put it on top. The problem with that is they're gonna sway and move because these flex, they move a lot. So by placing it on the outside of it, it gives it a longer lasting durability, you know, solid construction of the coach, oh, okay? That's great. But back to the color part, this is going to be Thor Motor Coach exclusive HD Max. Okay, now, now the difference with this as opposed to other stuff is that the other brands are going to use what's called FRP. It's fiberglass reinforced by a white plastic. The problem with that is that if it gets scratched, it can turn white easily. Okay. Nice thing about ours, number one, it's going to be uniform throughout. So the color you see on the outside, okay, it's all the way through to the back side of the gel coat. Therefore, giving the customer and the consumer a longer lasting, gorgeous appearance for decades to come. I mean, that's something that you want because... Well, they sure do look sharp. I mean, there's no question about it. Well, it, it's great stuff. I mean, it's got a two-year warranty on it, okay? It's going to be a poured fiberglass as opposed to a rolled. So it's going to be that, like, like a hull of a jet boat. Mm. All right, it gives the customer a very nice automotive, clean, and just a beautiful finish. I mean, it, it, it speaks for itself, yeah, honestly, that's, Andy. That's great. It, it really does. So continue on, actually, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the fresh tank here, okay? You're going to have a 40-gallon fresh tank on this model, okay? Now, if you notice... This fill is actually a little higher than normal, okay? But we're going to place every tank that we have above the floor. The reason why, why we, is that? The reason why we do that is, number one, it actually is going to be enclosed, okay? It's going to be away from the elements, okay? It's not going to be exposed, okay? And it's inside and secured. Um, also, therefore, it's heated. I mean, it's inside the cab. It's above the floor. Um, also, it's higher because of the, the gravity driven for when you drain it, okay? There's a low point drain down there that you can't see, and that's how you drain the actual tank itself, okay? Which is nice. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, I don't know how much the camera can see on this, but let's lift this up here and talk a little bit about the storage compartment here, Andy. Because obviously, you know, storage is a big deal in a motorhome, right? That's for sure. Yeah. You know, you definitely get a lot of we things that... We bring a lot of stuff with us, there's no question about it. So if you look here, all right, fully, furnished, or fully finished um, storage here. We're going to use an actual neo, or not a neoprene, but a um, rotocast area in there. Benefit of Rotocast is number one, it's going to be a five spun plastic. All right, it's going to be seamless. It's one piece, and you can easily clean it out if it gets dirty. Um, and it's not going to, you know, mold or mildew like some brands using steel or even carpet. Mm. You know, because what happens to carpet when it gets wet? Yeah, it can get moldy. It gets moldy. Yeah. And anybody with any kind of allergies, which that does occur, they're going to sneeze, they're going to do all kinds of stuff. So, Thor Motor Coach, we use nothing but the Rotocast compartments, and that's going to be in all of our products, okay, oh, from the top good. down. All right, and it's nice and finished off. So, actually, let's move around to the back side of the wheel. Well, Adam, we're at the back of the coach now, and actually, although it doesn't look like it, there's actually a lot to talk about, isn't there? There is. Um, you know, first off, we're going to do a lot of things, like I said, that are going to be hidden that you cannot see. So, first and foremost, let's talk about the ladder. Okay, while it seems like just a normal ladder, the benefit of this ladder is that it's actually going to be backed with steel. Okay, so we actually vacuum bond a steel plate inside of our wall at any point where there's a screw going to be screwed into it. Okay, the benefit of that is it's not going to move, it's not going to shake, it's very durable, it's longer lasting. I mean, that's, that's definitely something you want in a coach, and a lot of brands today, they're just going to actually screw it into a wood or even into just fiberglass. So, definitely will eliminate a lot of problems to come. That's great, yep, that's a great feature. Also, if you look up, we have a backup camera, okay, as you can see. The nice thing about this backup camera is it's going to have LED lights in there. There's actually 18 LED lights in that camera. The nice thing is it actually has night vision. So therefore, if we pull into a campground at nighttime and it's you know, dark and they have no lights back there, look at the camera, which is to the front, and it's like day vision 24 really? seven. So wow. it's very, very nice, you know? Yeah, especially in the Northeast where all our campgrounds are very heavily wooded. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's a big benefit. Huge, huge, absolutely. Come down here to our hitch package, okay? It's just gonna be a 5,000 pound hitch, so if you do want to tow, like I said, your car, boat, bike, you can, and it's very, very easy. So it can definitely support it, which is no problem whatsoever. Nice brake lights on each side. Okay, it's gonna also the backup light, um, which is very, very similar. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the rear of our coach. So if we want, let's go around the other side and we'll talk about a couple features on this side.
So we're now we're on the, the back side of the coach. What, yeah. do you, what, what's, what, do you, what can you tell us about this? A couple things I want to point out on the back side of the coach. Um, first off, here's your fuel fill. Okay, it's going to be on the back left hand side. And with the four chassis, this will be a 55 gallon fuel fill, okay, which is located right in the rear. Um, you're going to have your cable outlet here. So if you do want to have cable in the coach, you can, mm. which is nice. Okay. Here's your city water connection. When you pull up to a campground, it's very nice, located in the rear. It makes the access a lot easier. But that's going to be for your constant water flow. Okay. And then you have your low point drain down here, which is nice. Okay. All your sewer water connections are going to be right here in one located area. That's going to be for your black tank and your gray tank. Okay. Now your black tank and gray tank, there's sometimes worries about uh, can they freeze in the wintertime, right? I mean, being up here in Amsterdam, there's a lot of... Absolutely. In our, we do have those parts of the season, you know, the okay. shoulder seasons, yes, where people still use them, but there's right. some cold temperatures. Nice thing about Thor Motor Coach is that some brands will actually use heated enclosed ducts into the furnace or into the basement. All right, what we're going to do is actually take a different approach to this, have a little more forward thinking and keep greenery in mind. We want to be green and eco-friendly. So what we're going to do with our tanks, black and gray, we're going to wrap them in 12 volt heat pads. The nice thing about a 12 volt heat pad, number one, it doesn't use LP. All right, if it's 40 degrees outside, could your wife or kids want the furnace on? Huh, absolutely. Right. Well, the problem with that is, is that if you do have your furnace on, you're wasting heat into the basement because, will water freeze at 40? No. Water will not freeze at 40 degrees, so therefore, having a designated 12 volt heat pad per tank makes life a lot easier. Plus, you save the money. Okay? And save the money. Let's face it, we all like that, right? We all like that. So definitely a nice thing about our tanks. And so I'll locate it right below there. Okay? Coming around here, let's talk about this. Okay? This is a slide out. On the 24C, it's going to be one slide out. And even today, a lot of people still have a lot of hesitancy about slide outs. They're still somewhat scared of them, right? Well, it was invented back in like 1989, and there were issues back then, okay? But nowadays, what we're doing, we're using what's called a Schwinteg slide out system. It's built by Lipper Components, okay? And it's gonna be a four track, so two on each side. Okay. It's gonna be an aircraft grade aluminum, okay, with a worm rail. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna actually work together like as a team, all right? So if one side's off, the other side kind of collaborates and they work together, all right? Making it the the strongest slide in the entire industry. All right, and that's gonna be from all products, from diesel down to Class C's, okay? Okay, great. And if you notice up top there, there's a, a black awning cover or a slide-out cover. Benefit of that is, and that's gonna be standard on all products, but the benefit of that is that if you're at a campground that's heavily wooded, you know, you get rocks and twigs or leaves or whatever. Pine needles, yeah. Right, and it could fall down and get in your slide-out. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not gonna happen on this because it'll fall on that. When it comes in, it'll roll off the top and you're good to go. That's great. Okay. So Adam, we're back towards the front of the coach. Can yeah. you tell us a little about the windows? There's a lot of concerns at times about the, the window, the upper windows yeah. in Class C's on the, on the bunk. So talk, yeah. can you talk to us a little about, if there's, should we be concerned about that? No, you know, that, that was a big concern. It's a good point. Um, with our windows, you know, what separates us from the competition is that with every wall we build, okay, whether we build a, a high-end diesel pusher or a Class C, it's built the same way. Okay, it's a vacuum bond process, and every window that we have is going to be framed in aluminum. Okay, the nice part about framing something in aluminum, it gives it the structural integrity it needs to grab a hold of that window and to keep it nice and secure. You know, not to mention the fact that we're using that Mori chassis. I told you it was very even, it was level, you know, guaranteed, it's, not, it's guaranteed less than a quarter of an inch. So in combination with that, in turn, you're not going to have any additional vibration to go through the window. So therefore, we feel that we've really taken a, you know, a hold of that and honestly, there's been no issues. So it's been, it's been well for us, okay? okay. And even alongside with our slide outs, speaking of that, every slide out we build, okay, the back part of the wall is gonna be the same wall that it was when it was first backing bonded. We don't cut this slide out until the very, very end. Okay, so the beauty of that is that this back side of the slide is the same part as this. So it was done the same time, okay. same temperature, okay, same guys doing it. It has that it's going to basically have the structural integrity you want. It's not going to be a different wall is what I'm trying to say. Okay, Some sense. brands will cut it out first and they use a different wall. Okay, so to the best of my knowledge, we're one of the only brands doing this by keeping that structural integrity into the coach, mm -hmm. you know, which is definitely something that you need and want. Okay. okay. And then what do we got sticking out down here? Oh, that thing. Okay. I don't know if the camera can see this, but that's going to be your generator exhaust. Okay. The nice thing about this is we're using nothing but Onan in all of our lines. Okay. So Onan's owned by Cummins. They're a great brand. Been around for many, many years. Okay. Now the Chateau Onan is very nice because this generator here, a lot of people don't realize it's all about the placement. And earlier I told you we're a very forward-thinking company. So if you look at this, it's actually the farthest point away from the bed possible, right? The bed's all the way in the rear corner. Well, we put this, the generator in the front corner, you know, because it can be somewhat noisy, okay? This generator here will produce 69 decibels at its loudest point, okay? So 
to keep that in comparison, have you ever flown in an airline, you know, a high-end airline? All the time. Right, okay. At 20,000 feet in the air, the decibel rating is gonna be 72. So if you can fall asleep in the Highline airline, you can easily fall asleep to the nice, quiet tone of the generator. Okay. Okay, but yeah, that'll definitely be, you know, what you want. Okay. Okay. So, if you want, we can go around to the front side and we can talk about this front cab here. Okay, so we're at the very front of the coach and yeah. this looks very aerodynamic. Yeah. Am I right? You, yeah. You know, th that's basically a big part of our design is to try and keep it very, you know, ergo-friendly and aerodynamic. You know, our competition acts is going to use a, a wraparound front cap, but the, the thing about it is it's more of a flat front. So if you look at ours from the side, it's going to have more of that aerodynamic feel to it. It's more aerodynamic. So therefore, cutting through the wind at 70 miles an hour, you're not going to get as much of that, that sway. Okay. okay. You're going to be, you know, cutting through the, the wind, you know, you're going to be meandering through the hills in the wind with no problem at all. Oh, okay. Excellent. So excellent. definitely something we like to do. And also notice that it's, it's a full one-piece front cap. Okay. Um, it's going to be also HD Max, which is Thor Motor Coach's exclusive. Um, it is going to be one piece, no window up front. Okay, mm -hmm. keep it one piece, um, marine gray gel coat, it's a high-end fiberglass, um, very easy to clean, very durable, um, it's definitely a beautiful looking coat tail. You know, it's very, very nice. Mm, okay. 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 So let's go around on this side. Well, Adam, uh, you've taught us an awful lot about the exterior of this coach, uh, of this chateau. It's amazing how much there is right. to talk about, but I think really everybody's going to want to see what do we have inside. That's right. Okay, so let's go take a peek. Go on. Okay, so Adam, we're on the inside now. We're looking up at the ceiling. You know, on the outside, why don't you tell us a little bit about the ceiling, but also the roof. A lot of our customers want to know yeah. a lot about the roof, what the structure is, how it holds up, you know, right. what it's made of, all those kind of things. Right. It, well, again, you know, we're, uh, we, we talk about what you can't see, and that's a great question. It's because a lot of the older coaches that we used to build, and even some of the brands, would build it with a rubber roof. Okay, now the one thing about a rubber roof is, is it would break down. It's almost as if you were to take that rubber band and wrap it around the deck of cards, throw it in a drawer for six months, you pull out the drawer, you take the cards, you take the band off, what happens to it? Yep. It busts right up. It snaps, right? Yeah. That's how kind of the old rubber roofs were. Well, what we've done now with our forward thinking is that we're using what's called a TPO. It's a thermal polyolefin roof, okay? It's brilliant because number one, it's non-porous. It can't take in any elements. So, you know, dirt and, uh, you know, the, the rain and whatever it, it encounters, it can't take it in, okay? So it's non-porous. Also, it's flexible, very pliable, okay? Has a 12-year warranty on it, and it's the industry-leading material out there by far. So, you know, with Thor Motor Coach and how we design our coaches, it's just a, it's a great one-two punch. We really like TPO. Okay. A lot. It'll also prevent black streaks from happening because mm -hmm. it doesn't penetrate through it. So, therefore, the old petroleum-based oil in, you know, rubber, it will come over the sides, causing the black streaks. Yeah, that you could never get off. Oh, well, ah. I, mean, I know that as a kid having to wash these RVs. It was always that was always the fun part or non-fun part. And they would make you do it. Oh, absolutely. Well, that goes out, that's by the wayside now because of what we're doing today. Oh, okay, that's, that's good. And what about the ceiling? What can you tell us about the ceiling as we look up at the ceiling? Sure. Of, the, sure. of this chateau. Well, even from the top down, okay, a lot of brands and their coaches and, and the roofs. Number one, they're not vacuum bonded. Okay, we're going to vacuum bond our entire superstructure of this coach: ceiling, walls, and floor. Okay, again, it's like a high-end coach. It's over-engineered for what it is. But number two, we're using aluminum trusses every 15 inches on center. All right, we have a fully walkable roof, all right? Today, I mean, there's a lot of events that, that, that occur with like NASCAR and, and sporting events that people want to go on the roof and enjoy it. So we, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and accommodate our customer and clientele and give them a fully walkable roof. So wow. with our 15 inches and vacuum bond, you can walk on it. <laughs> so it's doable. Very, very doable. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, so it's very nice. We, we enjoy that feature and uh, our customers do too. Mm -hmm. Great. So take a look at this. Adam, uh, these cabinets, yeah. gorgeous. Well, what can you tell us about them? Thank you, thank you. First off, this is going to be our Olympic cherry. Okay, we offer two maple and cherry. This is going to be our cherry. Okay, so if you look, all real wood fronts. Okay, all real wood. Okay, this here is not going to be real wood. That's going to be called lumber core though. Lumber core is a great material because number one, it's going to be half the weight of wood, but still just as strong. And weight's a very, very big concern in motorhome because why? Because of what you want to carry, right? Yeah, you can absolutely. carry more, right? Yeah, we want to carry as much as possible. There's Abs no doubt about it. Absolutely. So to bring this up with our hidden value, again, that we talk about with what you can't see, with all of our cabinetry into our sidewall, remember outside I told you we vacuum bond our right. sidewalls? Right, okay. yeah, you did. What is this, Andy? Well, it looks like a magnetic name tag to me. Okay, yeah. magnetic. It's no gimmicks. That, that's an actual name tag, right? Yeah, all that's right. true. Nice thing about this, all right, with all of our sidewalls, we're actually going to put electro-galvanized steel 
into our sidewalls. Okay, so we're gonna fully vacuum bond steel into the sidewall and we're gonna back all the cabinetry where necessary. Okay, now what that's gonna do for the customer, okay, the benefit is, is that number one, over time, okay, because motorhomes what? They get beat up. They're going up hills, down hills, they're going through, you know, meandering through, you know, campgrounds and Bumpy whatever. Roads, yeah. Right, there's a lot of things that can happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in combination with the Moride, being that it's true and, and even, less than a quarter of an inch, that'll have the synergy with the cabinetry to prevent over time the vibrations in here. Okay. Oh, great. Vibrations cause gapping in cabinetry. It makes them tilt. They don't open and shut right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So by putting the EGS steel Not and, to mention they rattle on the road. You oh know, right. I mean that drives me crazy. Right. And the, the tighter the superstructure of the home is, the less vibrations you have. Mm -hmm. And less vibrations equals what? Less noise makes mama happy, and we're all happy. You yeah, know, well, so that, that's for sure. Now, do you have any kids, Andy? I do. I have three. Okay. So also with what we're doing with our sidewall, hypothetically, if you have your, your children in the booth dinette and they're sitting there and you were to get into a side impact collision and get hit, okay? Most of the time, you're not going to be hurt because you're in the motorhome. But what could fall off the, uh, the wall? The cabinets. Just about anything, yeah. Right. Yeah. So by backing our cabinetry and EGS steel, it's, it's a safety feature. I mean, it's going to keep the kids safe when they're traveling with you. Mm -hmm. That's definitely something that you got to have. Okay, but again, guys, hidden value, and that, that's really what we pride ourselves on, is the stuff you can't see. Adam, uh, mm -hmm. the floor. Yes. You know, for years, the floor, you'd walk through and you'd feel some creaks or there'd be some soft spots, but okay. you guys have come a long way with what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. We, we definitely have, and that, that's been a, a huge concern over, through the years. I mean, I've, I've been in the business now 13 years, and you know, when I first began, it was the same way. But what we've done, again, with our forward thinking and ingenuity, is that we're going to take the high-end features from the, our high-end coach and put that same technology again into our floor, okay? So to the best of my knowledge, we're one of the only brands that are using a full steel tubular frame in the entire floor. All right, it's going to be a 14-gauge steel floor in a Class C. Okay, again, just because it didn't have a $400,000 price tag, it still has a fully steel floor mm. and vacuum bonded, okay, right. from front to back. That's great. And if you also notice the actual color of the floor, it's got that rich earth tones to it, okay? The brand of that's going to be called a bow floor. Now, the nice thing about bow floor is it has a two-year warranty against any cold cracking that happens, okay? Now, the old coaches that we would sell way back when, it would if it gets slit, it would curl up. Oh, without a doubt. Right. Well, this is residential, and it actually is it's prevented by that because it's heavier. It's a, a thicker grade of, of leno. Um, and not to mention, we're actually going to take our leno, the bow floor, all the way to the edge of our floor. We don't cut around any furniture, all right? So it's actually underneath anything so, you see in so the coach. So you're building this on top of it. In other yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. And it's going to prevent it from curling up, mm -hmm. okay? And it's also one piece. I mean, our entire floor in this coach is one piece from the ground up, okay? We're using a 3 8 inch warehouse deck board, okay, which is like that thick. Very, very nice. Um, it's also one piece, okay? Because we're buying our sheets 24 by 8 foot sections. Now, less seams in a floor equal what? I mean, less uh, chance for error, you know. Less, less chance for error. Yeah. Less chance to leak, okay? Less chance for a vibration or a rattle, okay? Also, if you notice in our floor, there's no holes. <clears throat> now, what do I mean by holes? Like vents, right? There's no furnace vents in our floor. The reason why we do that is furnace vents in a floor, okay? They can gather rocks. They can gather, you know, cat hair, dog hair, sand, or whatever it may encounter. They're going to gather that. The nice part about ours is that we're not doing that. We don't want to jeopardize the, the structural integrity of the floor. All right, so we don't do that. Also, what people don't realize is that every hole in your floor is a portal to the outside, therefore making your Class C or your motorhome louder on the inside. Mm, that's, that's a great point. Right, so with no holes in my floor, it's all one piece, all right, from front to back, steel 14-gauge floor with our Moride chassis, all right, that's going to combine for the synergy of having the quietest ride in the Class C industry by far, by far. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, I firmly believe we have the quietest Class C in the industry. Yeah, so there's so many things that you're doing right. that just that tie that all together. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. That's, what, that's what we try to do. So, you know, it's it's overall a good thing, and we're just we're excited for the future. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Hey! Yeah, what are you doing in there? <laughs> How are you, Andy? That's good. It's good. Fun. Okay, so this is the bathroom, okay? Why I'm sitting here, I'm on the king throne here. Number one, because it's all porcelain, okay? All porcelain toilet. We don't use no plastic. It's all porcelain. But I really want to show you the leg room here, okay? I'm six foot and there's plenty of room, okay? So it's very usable, even for a small coach like a 24 footer, because really where the market's gone is they want something small. People don't want things that are too large, so, but at the same time, they don't want to lack the bathroom space. Right. So really, 24C, in my opinion, is the best of both worlds. It's very nice, okay? So you have the sink here, it's a nice medicine cabinet, okay? And then the shower, you got plenty of room here as well, okay? 
So again, six foot, I have plenty of headroom, okay? And nice. it feels good, very easy, very usable, okay? And you got some racks on the back. Yeah, I got the racks for your towels, nice lock here. And it's an actual full door too. It's not gonna be a, yeah, one a those, cheap accordion yeah, doors. Yeah, great. That's it's an actual full door. So therefore you can take makes, a- Makes a big difference. You know, take a shower in privacy and not to worry about it, mm -hmm. okay? Adam, uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time when we buy something like this, right. we're gonna be driving. So tell us about when you're, when you're driving, what, tell us about the front, yeah. about the dash, and sure. you know, what, what, what you got here. Well, first off, um, this is the 4V10 area. Okay, this is gonna be the E-Series front cab. And one thing to point out is number one, we've got the leatherette chairs. Okay, captain and co-captain co chairs. That's an option, it's a leatherette chair, all right? You're also gonna get the nice wood grain dash. So when you look in here, it's very nice. It's very, you know, ergonomically designed correct. Um, everything's gonna be within a, a hand's reach away, mm -hmm. all right? It's very, very nice because it's close. And people are used to this, Andy. People are used to a Class C because it's just like their car or their truck. Mm -hmm. You know, when you buy a Class A, it's a little different because it's, it's higher, it's taller, it's wider. Yeah. But this here's a... Well, we hear that a lot. Customers that come in that haven't had a motorhome before, they right. feel very safe jumping into a Class C. Nice. I feel people are very familiar with that, and safety and familiarity kind of go hand in hand. They really do. So, um, what you're looking at here is going to be your uh, Pioneer backup camera, okay? Um, this is also going to be Pandora ready. So, I don't know if you're a Pandora fan. I am. Me too. I think we all are. So, how does that translate into a coach like this? Uh, how does Pandora operate here? It's so simple. You've got a USB port here. That's a USB 2.1. The nice thing is, Andy, that that's actually going to not only play your music, but charge it at the same time. No kidding. So the USB 2.1 is a new addition to it. I know my kids would like that. They would love that. <laughs> yes, they would absolutely love that. Um, you've also got your auxiliary hookup here, and uh, you can play your radio, auxiliary. Um, you know, you get your USB, the Pandora, and you can change the colors of it, but it's very easy and very simple. And So you guys are really keeping up with technology everywhere. Right. Like I said, we're trying to really forward think and and stay ahead of that curve because stuff changes every day. Mm. So That's great. Yeah, we're very excited. Adam, you've done a great job showing us all the features of the construction, everything that we can't see right. of how this coach is built. But let's face it, you walk in this coach and it's it's wow. I mean, this, Thank you. this is beautiful. What model are we in? And maybe talk a little yeah. bit about what we can see. Yeah, this is a 24C Chateau. Um, this model here was really designed to target you know, a couple that wants a little more room. It's kind of like our 22E, but with a slide out, okay? So behind you is a, a nice big slide out. You're gonna have the full wardrobe, which I'll point here, okay? And this is gonna be her wardrobe. Okay, this will be yours. Well, that, <laughs> I'll tell you what, this will be yours. <laughs> yeah, probably, that's the way it usually goes. So full wardrobe there, and you get a full U-shaped dinette, which that's also gonna convert down to a bed. So if you do have children going with you, you have a bed up top, the bed there, and then you get your corner. Or even if a couple want to bring their grandkids. You know, yeah. Sometimes we see that. Yeah. But yeah, we definitely want to, to, to hit all angles here and keep it you know, very homey, very neutral, very warm. Um, we're never going to try and do things too flashy on the inside. We want to keep it nice and neutral. Um, that's going to come from the top down, So, mm -hmm. but definitely very, very nice. You know, you're going to have the leatherette dinette here. That's an option. Okay. Um, behind you, you have the microwave. Okay. You also have a full oven. So if you want to cook those, you know, those cookies or those muffins, mm -hmm. you know, feel free to do that. Three burner stovetop okay, with the high output up front. You got your range here. Mm -hmm. um, you get your refrigerator here with separate freezer, okay, which is nice. Okay. Um, gonna have your TV antenna there. This is equipped with the AC 13,500 BTU, which will cool you out of here, okay. And you got a lot of cabinet space. Yeah, I mean, for the size code, right. it really is amazing how much cabinetry there is. It's how very, very space. usable. Yeah, tons of cabinetry and, and tons of space. So, um, got your corner bed back here, which is nice. And one thing I want to point out with us, guys, is also what we're going to do differently is this year, we're actually using what's called a Denver mattress. Okay, it's an actual, real, like, therapeutic mattress. I mean, it's got the memory foam on there, and it's very thick. I can just tell by the You see how thick that is? Look at that. And it's very, very, very durable and very strong underneath. It's not, you're not going to have the old bars in your back, and you're not going to, you're not going to get a bad night's sleep in a chateau. Mm. In French, you know what chateau means? What's that? Welcome home. Adam, uh, you know, we learned so much about this yep. chateau. 24C, it's uh, it really is awesome. I mean, inside, outside, uh, you know, that's one of, one of the things also at Alpen House we're uh, we're proud of that we have great relationships yeah. with people like yourselves, and you come out often throughout the year, as do uh, other people from your from Thor Motor Coach. So I really want to appreciate you coming yeah. today. Yeah, it's been my pleasure, Andy. Yeah. Guys, if you want any more information, um, go to AlpenHouseRV.com or ThorMotorCoach.com. We thank you very much. Have a good night.